Discovering hidden gems in Dinwiddie County, Lucky Lake Gem and Mineral Mines is a wonder of nature discovered completely by accident. And tonight's Wayne's World senior reporter Wayne Koval tells us all about it and how it's attracting people from all over. That's another money stone. All right, you ready? I'm gonna be rich. You gonna be rich? <laughs> There was a ruby inside. Wow. Sitting on 277 acres. I think it is an amazing experience for all ages. In the westernmost section of Dinwiddie County are gemstones. On the property, we have garnet, amethyst, citrine, silver topaz, aquamarine, smoky quartz, and some jaspers and agates. And all it takes to get yours <gasps> is a little work. I know. That's awesome. What? <laughs> And it's not just kids looking for gems. Some amethyst, some rose quartz. We have them from about three years old to 90 years old. And while many are here for the first time, others are not. Maybe 20% are loyal customers that come back all the time. So what's your favorite out of everything? Oh, tourmaline. Like this man. I just love the rocks. Who's one of the 20% of regulars driving nearly two hours one way to get here. I'm retired. I don't play golf. I get to spend my money on rocks. <laughs> and sitting at his home are the fruits of his labor here. I have 318 pounds of rough cut gemstones. But that doesn't necessarily equate to finding gold. So I'm not telling people to come down and get rich. This is to have fun, and you can make jewelry out of it. That's not to say there isn't a miner here who doesn't find the occasional nugget. One person found a 61 carat star ruby. Some tourmalines have been worth over $1,000. And it's important to know. No kid leaves not happy. You see every bucket sold. Bumblebee Jasper. Is salted. Because when you're digging a bucket of dirt, you could end up with a bucket of dirt. We add to the buckets gems from around the world. Probably the labradorite that I have here. It's really pretty. It looks like sea glass. And it's educational. Ava, do you remember what this one was? A jasper. Jasper. And then what about this one? What do we call this one? A uh, money stone. Money stone. It's so neat. It's such a great place for kids to be able to come and have some sort of experience um, instead of, you know, inside watching video games or things like that. It's definitely an educational experience for them. For this elementary school principal. Not only do we study something from a textbook, let, let's go out and experience it, something hands-on. And when the bucket is empty and the rough gemstones spread out. We sat down afterwards and tell them myths and legends about the gemstones. The discovery of the rough gemstones. We have a quarry mine. Was quite by accident. Two brothers. Leslie Resnick and Barry Resnick bought this property for a hunt club. While digging a pond, the brothers found the rough gems here. It's always kind of a surprise to some degree on what you get. And the value of a rough gemstone comes after it is cut. Then you're paying so much per carat for the stone. Each one's different depending on how rare they are and how nice the stone comes out. And for many who experience this. Absolutely, we'll come back. I definitely come back here. Lucky Lake would like to see their quarry mine moved into a commercial use where companies are paying to dig up feldspar for fertilizer and corundum to be used in abrasives. But they still love their customers panning for raw gemstones. If you feel lucky, stop by and give it a shot. You never know what you might find.